Marion County Commissioners passed a resolution yesterday allowing the county to file a lawsuit to reverse federal approval of the Spokane Tribe's new casino. That resolution says the project would be detrimental to the community, particularly Fairchild Air Force Base. The casino would be located in Airway Heights directly under the flight pattern and could encroach on the base. Fairchild said today they are not in a position to comment, but a spokesperson for the tribe says they are saddened by the suit. Spokane Tribe, though, not letting it interrupt their momentum as they take steps forward to that project. They've been working on it for a decade now, announcing today that they have a new name for the casino. KXY 4's Caroline Work working for you at the tribe's latest progress. Caroline? Nadine, a lot going on today for the Spokane Tribe. They, like you said, have been working on this project for more than 10 years, and now with an official name and a logo, their new casino feels that much closer to being realized. So here we go. Harder, Danny and Glenn. Hard. Woo here we go. Here it is. What's in a name for this 10-year-old project? Actually, quite a bit. In developing this logo, name, and brand, we went through a thorough process by actually going to the tribal people, the community. The Spokane Tribe broke ground on the STEP project last November, but made this big announcement today. Now that the project has a name, the tribe wants to get right to work, finding a staff to build it. Roofers, carpenters, to electricians, plumbers, we need, we need all the, the di different areas to build this casino. So today they asked the community to come to them. We have a job fair going on today, very excited to have as many um, construction and casino workers that would like to come down and apply for jobs. We welcome you, it's a great day. The 145-acre project includes a casino, a hotel, and multiple restaurants and cafes. Spokane Tribe says it could mean 5,000 jobs for the Airway Heights community. It brings the worker to the job site and it gives them the opportunity to uh, obtain employment in building the casino. Different contractors and unions, even apprenticeship programs were represented today and all were welcome. From the, the ones that are just learning, that are young, to the ones that are experienced and um, are more advanced in their training or that are the professionals in their field. We, we welcome them all. Now we mentioned 5,000 jobs here. The jobs at the job fair today, only for the actual construction of the building and the project. Evan says there will be future job fairs for operational positions at the casino. We'll keep you updated on that. In studio, Caroline Rourke, KXOI4 News. Thank you, Caroline.